When you read the scriptures, you discover God has made some wonderful promises to His children related to His ability and His willingness to protect and defend them. Sometimes, however, we can abuse these marvelous promises and assume that we who have become children of God are no longer subject to the basic rules of life. We may feel we're somehow exempt from negative consequences regardless of how much risk we create through our own foolishness. I was once invited by some Pakistani brothers to come to Pakistan to minister. I told them that given the current situation in that nation, I felt it was probably too dangerous for an American to go there. Does the Bible ever suggest that the people of God should avoid dangerous situations? Or does it tell us to go anywhere, do anything, regardless of the danger involved, and simply trust God? Well, some might be surprised that there are several passages of Scripture which clearly indicate we are not to put our lives in danger unnecessarily. Some of the most powerful of these verses relate to the life of our Lord Jesus Himself. In the Gospel of John, we read, After these things Jesus walked in Galilee, for He did not want to walk in Judea, because the Jews sought to kill Him. Now, if this referred to any ordinary person, we'd hardly think a thing about it. Nearly all of us prefer to avoid places and people and situations in which our lives will be in serious jeopardy. But in this verse, we're talking about Jesus, the Son of God, the one who upholds all things through His power, the co-creator of everything that has ever been made. It is this Jesus, the man of miracles and power, who avoids a certain area of Israel because there are some dangerous men there who would love nothing better than to snuff out His life. Jesus purposely avoids Judea, apparently concerned that He would be killed before His time. How can this be? Why not just strike all his enemies dead with a single word and then go wherever he pleases? It would seem that when Jesus laid aside his divinity and became a man, he agreed to play by the rules that govern life on earth. Thus, he sweated, he got tired after long walks, and he avoided danger just the way all the rest of us must do. Just as most of us would never think of jumping rope in the middle of a busy freeway, Jesus, as our great high priest and heavenly example, refused to put his life at risk unnecessarily until he knew it was his time to face the cross. Keith Green was an immensely talented Christian contemporary singer and a deeply spiritual young man whose ministry really took off in the 1970s. One day at the height of his amazing ministry, he went up in a small private plane with a couple of friends and their children and several of his own kids to look over the ministry property. The plane was overloaded beyond its weight limit, the center of gravity for the passengers was off, the number of available seats for the passengers was inadequate, and the pilot was not licensed to fly that category of plane. Upon takeoff, the airplane struggled, shuddered, and crashed just a couple of miles away. Everyone on the plane was killed. News of Keith's death shocked the Christian world. How could God allow such a gifted, spiritual young man who was making such a wonderful impact on the world to die at such an early age? Now, I certainly cannot answer all the questions that could be asked, but reason suggests that had they adhered to safety standards for that particular airplane, Keith Green might be with us today. God has established rules and principles which He calls us to follow, and we will most certainly pay a price for breaking those rules. God expects us to live wisely and circumspectly and to act conservatively and with caution in most circumstances. As those who are the apples of God's eye, we're too valuable to risk our lives, our bodies, our health, our marriages, our children, or our careers on things where the risk level is simply too high. If Jesus Christ Himself took precautions for His own safety, who in the world are we that we think ourselves too spiritual to do the same? Let us determine to follow Jesus wisely and not recklessly and foolishly. If we're going into risky situations, let's make sure the voice we heard is truly His. The life, the family, the marriage, the ministry that we save may be our own.